Let's begin today on our backs, please. And I invite you to find whatever comfortable position works for your body. Your legs can be bent, maybe knees resting in or resting out, or legs straight, however you see fit. And the arms can be out away from the body with the palms up, or if you like, you can place one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest, just to help your body know where to breathe. And if you're comfortable doing so, I invite you to close your eyes and start with a really nice deep breath in. Exhale out of the mouth and release the weight of your body into the ground. And then we'll bring our attention to the feeling of our breath moving inside of us. And then if you can, deliberately bring your breath fully into the belly. Feel your belly expanding out as you inhale and coming back in and down as you exhale. And on your next breath, after you fill the belly with air, keep breathing in and expand the ribs. First the belly, then the ribs and the solar plexus. And then we'll complete our three-part breath, breathing into the belly, into the ribs, and all the way up into the chest. You might feel the breath as three distinct parts, but yet one flowing breath. So you don't stop in between the parts. It just continues. Finding the fullness of your inhale and the emptiness of your exhale. As you inhale, you might notice a sense of spaciousness created inside your body. You might even imagine that the inhale is expanding out beyond the confines of your physical body connecting you to the spaciousness that's around you as well as inside of you, as though it's one continuous space without separation. Like you're breathing into the entire universe. The entire universe is inside of you. When you exhale, you let go completely, not just of the breath, but of everything. Not even just the body, everything.
opening to all that is and letting go into everything and into nothing all at the same time. And then when you're ready, you can bring your knees into your hands. And we'll start by warming up the hips, circling the knees around away from each other. So the knees are mirroring each other. When the right one goes right, the left one goes left. Staying in the fullness of your breath and the emptiness of your breath. And then reverse direction, circle the knees the opposite way, still mirroring each other. So the reason why I want you to mirror, because otherwise there's this tendency to just rock from side to side and you're not actually stirring the leg bones inside the hip sockets to warm up that joint. Beautiful. And we'll continue to hold on <clears throat> to the right knee, clasping your hands around the bottom of the knee and extend the left knee, left leg out straight. Flex your left foot and press the heel away from you. And then breathe all the way in, feel the space filling your body. And then when you exhale and empty, draw that right knee in toward your chest. If you're joining us now, welcome. This is our first posture. So you have only missed our breathing. Stay connected to how full the inhale can be. Feel where it goes in your body, the space that you make, the space the breath finds, the space it opens. And then when you exhale, let everything go. And in that emptying, in that lack of resistance, draw the knee in. So you can feel how the inhale creates a certain amount of resistance. It creates a tension. The breath presses up against the confines of your body. And then when you let it go, everything shrinks and softens. And there's more mobility. And then we'll take that right hand and bring it to the inside of the right foot and around the bottom of the foot. If you don't reach the foot, you can take hold of the leg. And we'll lift the foot up toward the sky. We're gonna take the left arm up overhead. 
when I take our body into a crescent shape while we're in this half baby pose. So we're gonna move that left foot over to the right. Then we're gonna move the head and the left arm over to the right. And the hand becomes heavy on that right foot, sinking the right leg down. You can feel how the breath comes up inside of your left ribs. So again, if you don't reach your foot, you can just hold on to the leg at the shin or maybe at the thigh. And worry less about the physical body and just focus on the breath. Just slowly filling air into the space, making more space, pushing the limits of the body out. Perhaps connecting with the limitless sense that we did earlier. That the breath doesn't stop at the boundaries of the body, but continues out into the atmosphere. And then extend that left arm out to the left and then straighten that right leg out to the right. You may need to let go of the foot in order to get the leg straight. You can just hold on to the leg from underneath. Trying to have the leg as much out to the side as possible. And then turn your head to the left. on your breath. And then lift that right leg straight up in the air. Clasp your hands, be hands behind the back of the leg and point and flex your foot. Maybe moving with your breath at a slow pace. And then circle the foot around at the ankle, slowly. Place your awareness inside the foot, maybe closing the eyes, feeling all the little muscles working. Welcome. Circle the other way. And then bring the foot back into the flex position. And we'll have two options here. The first one is to take a breath in and exhale and lift your head and slide your hands up. 
And the second one is just to leave your head on the ground. Especially if your head is lifted, as you inhale, you want to really elongate the breath and elongate the spine. And then as you exhale, just let the elbows become heavy, let the hands become heavy on the leg. As you exhale, scoop the belly in and up. Try to relax the shoulders, the face, the arms. And if your head is lifted, lower it down. If you can reach your big toe with your left hand, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, bring the left hand to the outside of the right leg anywhere that you can. Send the right arm out to the right. And we wanna to try to keep the sacrum on the ground the flat part of the lower back. Don't let the hip lift up and just aim that right leg over to the left. So we wanna keep the hip and sacrum on the ground. Don't go so far that you're lifting your hip off the ground. Even if you only go an inch, it's better to go an inch and keep the back on the ground then to go more and to lift your head. Turn your head to the right. See if your breath is just as full as when we began, maybe more so, maybe not. And then keeping that right leg straight, bring it all the way down to the ground till the foot touches the floor. And if you can hold on to your foot or your toe, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, hold on to the leg and try to bring your right foot as close to your left shoulder as possible. Turn your head to the right and bring your head, sorry, bring your right shoulder down to the ground. So this time we are lifting the hip off the ground. We're rolling over onto the outside of the left hip. The right hip is up facing the air and your leg is on the ground. Ideally with your leg straight. It's a sciatic stretch. And then find the space to breathe into here. So the belly is obviously quite twisted. And so the breath is finding its own shape inside the shape of the twist. See if that right shoulder can relax back down toward the ground a little more with each exhale. And 
maybe breathing into that right shoulder. And then we'll come onto our back. Let the right foot find the left knee as the left knee bends. And the hands will come behind the back of the left leg. And you lift the left foot to the height of the left knee. Flex both feet. You want to have the ankle of the right foot just above the left knee. So you're not crossing the leg over. You're resting the ankle on the knee. Right ankle on left knee. Both feet are flexed. And then as you exhale, please press the left foot toward the right foot. Inhale into the spaciousness, creating the spaciousness, opening your mind into the spaciousness. And then we'll release that right leg straight out on the ground. Clasp your hands around the outside of the left knee, drawing the left knee in, flexing the right foot. Reaching out long through the right heel. Breathing all the way in. And then exhale, empty. Feel absolutely no resistance. Letting go completely and then drawing the leg in toward the left shoulder. Feeling the resistance as you breathe in and out against the walls of the body. And then deflating, becoming as supple as a balloon that you've taken the air out of. Expanding in all directions as you breathe. Okay, let's bring that left hand to the bottom of the left foot or wherever you can. And then lift the left foot up so that it faces the, sun, the sky. And again, if your hand doesn't reach the foot, it can come wherever it reaches. We'll bring the right arm overhead. And we'll come back into that sickle, that crescent shape, bringing the right foot over to the left, lifting your head, and bringing the head and arm over to the left, just so we open that left, that right side a little more. And then let the weight of your left hand be heavy on the foot. Try to relax the back of your left shoulder toward the ground.
See if you can feel how your right side is breathing. Reaching out through the right arm overhead. Reaching out through the right foot. Feeling that long stretch from hand to foot with your breath. And then bring the right arm out to the right side. Straighten the left leg and bring it out to the left side. You might need to take your hand off the foot in order to get the leg straight. That's fine. Turn your head to the right. Try to Bring that left foot as close to the left shoulder as you can. Expanding. As you inhale, relaxing, letting go as you exhale. And then lift that left leg up in the air. Clasp your hands behind the back of the leg. Try to straighten the leg if you can and point and flex the foot. Holding slowly. Breathing slowly, feeling the movement. And then we'll circle the foot around at the ankle. You feeling the feeling of the foot circling around as your mind somewhere else. And circle the other way. Come back to a flexed foot. Take a deep breath in, and if you want, lift your head up toward your knee, slide your hands up toward your foot. And then relax the backs of the shoulders toward the floor, letting the weight of the hands become heavy, letting the elbows drop. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. If your head is lifted, lower it down. And then either holding on to the big toe with your right hand or bringing that left, that right hand to the left side of your leg, the outside of your leg. Send the left arm out to the left and aim the left leg to the right without lifting the hip up off the ground.
smooth your breath. So try to keep the foot level with your hips. So you, you don't want the foot to come away from you just because then you can lower it more. It's not important to lower it more. Keep the foot as much level with the hip as you can lined up and then just go straight over, not back, not in, just straight over to the right. So again, if the leg has to be higher and not go as far, that's fine. And if the leg goes so far over that it lifts your left buttock or hip off the ground, you've gone too far. Okay, now we'll roll over onto the outside of that right hip and bring that left foot all the way to the ground on the right side. Coming into a twist, turning your head to the left. Take a breath in all the way up to that left shoulder. And then exhale, drop the shoulder. Head is to the left. Aim your left foot toward your right shoulder. Sciatic stretch. And find the space to breathe into, even though the body is constricted and most of the places you're used to breathing might not be available. See where there's room for breath and then make even more room. We're going to come onto our backs and bring the left ankle just above the right knee, bending that right leg. Clasp the hands behind the back of the right leg, lifting that foot to the height of the knee. And flex both feet, inhaling deep. Exhaling, pressing the right foot toward the left foot. Try to relax as much as you can. Release the clasp of your hands, lower the right foot down, lower the left foot down, and then open the knees out to the side bottoms of the feet together, rest your hands on your inner thighs. And then let's pretend that we're breathing into our hands. Feel the weight of your hands heavy on your legs. See if your legs can relax under the weight of your hands.
and then lift your feet. Wrap your first two fingers around your big toes if you can, if not around anywhere that you can reach. We're gonna rock ourselves lengthwise on the spine and rock all the way up. Bring the heels in. Knees out. We'll cross the left hand over to the right shin. Inhale the right arm up. And then exhale over to the left, gazing up and to the right. And really let yourself lean away from where the hand is holding on. So you're kind of using your hand as leverage to help yourself drop as far to the left as you can. Maybe closing the eyes and feeling the breath on the inside. Next inhale lifts you up. Exhale the arm down. Bring it over to the left shin. Inhale the right arm up, the left arm up. Exhale over to the right. Turning your gaze to the left. Holding on tight with that right hand. So you could literally fall to the right as much as you can. Feeling how the breath feels, where it goes. On your next inhale, come up. Exhale the hands down, bringing the hands both to the ground in front of you. Inhale, draw the fingers toward you, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward, walking the hands forward, dropping your chest toward your feet, dropping your head, dropping elbows. If you're working with a challenged knee and your legs need to be straight, just do a straight leg version. Feel the emptying of letting go of the breath. Surrender the weight of the body. No resistance, no holding. Almost like there's no bones, there's no muscles, there's just a sack of flesh falling over itself. Lock your hands in, roll yourself up, reach up as you inhale, relax down as you exhale. Find your way to hands and knees.
Lining your hands under your shoulders. You can be on fists like I am or spread the fingers wide, whatever works for you. Knees are hip width apart under the hips. Your arms remain straight. The breath is still flowing from belly to ribs to chest and we'll move the spine with the breath. As we inhale, we tilt the tailbone up, which we, which we notice drops the belly down as we breathe into the belly. And then as we breathe up into the ribs, the ribs come forward as we breathe up to the chest, the eyes lift. Exhale, start with the tailbone, then the mid back, the head last. So with each breath, you're moving the spine to coordinate with either the inhale or the exhale. Please start with the tailbone and ripple up so that the head moves last. Beautiful. And then find your way onto your belly, please. You can start with your forehead resting on stacked hands. Feeling how the breath presses your body against the floor and also lifts up in toward the sky. Feeling the pressure of the inhale and the absolute letting go of the exhale. And then let your forehead come to the ground, coming off of your hands. Lift your left leg up in the air. Reach out long through your foot. Feel like somebody's pulling your leg behind you. And then if you can lift high, let the heel float up. Reach it back. Half locust pose. Well, we release the leg down. Notice how it feels on the right side and on the left side, having only done one side. And then lift the right leg up, stretch it back, reaching back through the toes. And see if you can lift higher by getting the heel to float up. Press down into the hips and pelvis. Maybe your breath helps give you the space to lift higher. And release down. Let the heels fall out and let the body relax. You can clasp your hands behind your back. If your hands don't reach each other, maybe you have a towel handy or a strap, you can grab on to the ends and then walk your hands in as close together as you can. Your hands are clasped. Try to lift your hands as high as they'll go. 
you and then press your hips into the ground, your pelvis, your pubic bone, and then lift the head off the ground as high as it will go. As you inhale, feel your chest becoming more buoyant, floating on top of that in-breath. And then as you exhale, rather than bobbing back down, keep yourself lifted and just sink your pelvis down. See if the breath can spread wider across your chest, almost like you're peeling your shoulders open. Maybe the hands come higher. And release them. Rest on one cheek. Feel yourself releasing into the ground. Then bring the hands under your shoulders, bring your head center, push into your hands to lift yourself up, curl your toes, spread your fingers, lift your hips, come into downward dog, framing your head with your arms, press forward through the pads of your fingers, sending back the hips, Press the thighs back towards the space behind you. Roll your shoulders down your back. Keep sinking your chest, letting go of your head. Maintaining forward pressure with your fingers so it feels like you're shifting your weight from your hands to your hips and down into your heels as you press the heels toward the floor. And then just wag your tail a little bit from side to side without bending the knees. See if you can get a tiny bit of movement in the hips. Beautiful. Walk the feet up to the hands. Up the chin to the chest. Roll yourself all the way up, reaching up high, inhale. And then exhale, swan diving down, folding over your legs. And we'll do that again, rolling yourself up, reaching up, inhale. Exhale, swan diving down, folding over your legs. And one more time. Bring all the way up. And then folding over. And we'll stay here. And you can bring your hands behind the backs of your legs. For those who are more flexible, you can tuck your palms under your feet. Your hands are at the backs of your legs. When you inhale, push hands into legs and legs into hands. And then when you exhale, just try to lift your belly and fold over. If your hands are under your feet, when you exhale, you're gonna act like you're trying to pull your hands out from under your feet, pulling away from you with your hands.
light or dark here. And then release your hands, bring them to the ground, bending the knees. Dropping the hips down. Coming into a squat. We're gonna lower ourselves down onto the buttocks. Feet on the ground in front. And we're gonna lower ourselves onto our back. You can hold on to your knees and lean away from your hands. Or if you wanna work your core muscles, your hands can be on you your chest or in front of you or up above, lowering without the benefit of your hands. And once your head comes down, the hands rest on either side. We'll lift the hips and tuck the tailbone. Release the legs and shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes. Rest the arms out away from the body with the palms up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Releasing the weight of the body onto the ground. Inhale deep, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the jaw open, slightly parting the lips. Inhale, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Letting your mind come to the feeling of the breath. And then let go of the breath so you're not trying to breathe. Breath is just happening. Just let it be. And see if you can continue to rest your mind and feel of the breath without controlling the breath, without judging the breath or evaluating the breath. Just Resting alongside or inside the breath. Letting the body rest on the ground. Doing nothing. Just being here. Deeply relaxed, letting go, letting go, letting go.
Breathe into your heart. Move fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath. Stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest and rock from side to side. Massaging your back with the ground. And then come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. Roll on to your side, resting your head on your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, feeling the space inside you, the space all around you, and maybe letting there be one continuous space. Slowly make your way up to sitting. Lifting your head last. Coming into any comfortable posture. Sit bones sinking down, head lifting tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale the hands together at the heart. Inhale the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today.